Okay, I think I remember why there is a tingle problem with these amiibos. I've bought every single amiibo in this shop, and I have no tingle. They didn't make a tingle amiibo yet! What did anybody tell me? Ugh! Might as well check out to see what we do have that's new. Like, um... Who did I not have before? I got a lot of people now. I got a lot of amiibos, so I'm probably close to that 100 for the heart piece. I think you need 100 of them, and there's like 120 in total. But yeah, there is uh, two uh, fairies on Mount Cornell, apparently. This one is supposed to give you the bomb bag, and I'm pretty sure this is the one that actually gives you the larger wallet. Or vice versa, but it, it says it's Mount Cornell for both of them. One of these was in the Minish Forest. And we're going to be meeting another fairy soon, too. And uh, I got all the goddesses, I got most of the Minish, including Library, or, or Librarby, as I call him. Got some Gorons, we got the Vassals, that's exactly what they're called. They serve the king. We got a whole bunch of scenes from Hyrule all over the place. We got Cuckoos! Yep, the Cuckoos have their own amiibo. Let's you summon Cuckoos in your Breath of the Wild game. Why aren't you playing that? Why didn't you get a Switch? Or at least a Wii U. I will let you go with a Wii U at this point. I still use mine for stuff. Got Dark Nuts and uh... I even got the, the the wall and floor masters, which are even named appropriately right here, so I shouldn't argue about that anymore. The rupee likes, the like likes, and I even got the the, the dungeon bosses. Well, they're not quite yet. There's a lot of enemies in this game. Have you noticed? Yeah, I got the the ice dungeon Octorok. He was like one of the last ones I picked up. Got the Mazal, which was um. Bongo Bongo wannabe mech guy. No Tingle Amiibo yet. That kind of upsets me. And it kind of disappoints me, actually. They should know how to tingle. But, uh, we're done with that for right now. Absolutely no more figurines for me, yet. I'll have to come back here later. And basically I was just, like, fast-forwarding the game and selecting it, so I was just using one shell each time. It's not like I, I spoiled all of my shells doing that. In fact, I probably made a few. I was just buying them off the shop as I needed them. But we're going to have to go to a new area today. But first, I need to upgrade my sword. Which is at Hyrule Castle. Also, there's another guy around here too that I need to speak to. I have the Flame Lantern. Which means I can light things on fire. Like that! Aha! Also, I have a little bit of a cold. That's kind of what happens when you go to an ice dungeon. You get a cold. That's a cough I had to mute out. But now I can light torches in this area. So we can learn something new from Grimblade, the third strongest swordsman in the cave. If I train with him, I'll learn something new. Let's learn new things. Also, the game's still a little bit too loud. Okay, there we go. The sword beam. And your hearts are full? You can shoot things out of your sword! Like the original game! Even though I could do that even with a wooden sword. And of course he's gonna have to possess us to teach us it. You'd have to feel the technique, just not hear about it. Even though your descendant was able to do this just by, you know, having a wooden sword on hand. Okay, we get it. You're gonna possess me now. You're gonna possess me to shoot laser beams. Yep, now I'm a Jedi. Thank you. Thank you for making me a Jedi. So, even when my hearts are full, and when my hearts aren't full, I can shoot a laser beam. So is there like a, a middle beam I could learn when uh, I have just like maybe a half heart of health or something like that? Because that would be great. I wonder how many Tiger Scrolls I have now too. Not all of them. We're getting close though. I need seven to learn the ultimate skill, and I think that's uh, going towards the last essence. But that's the skills we have so far. Spin attack, sword beam, dash attack, peril beam, rock breaker, and the roll attack. I kind of like the roll attack, even though it's kind of situational. You need space to roll attack in. You need to be able to roll to attack. 
See, I tried to roll there. I picked up a bush instead. Also, there's some miniature stuff around here that I kind of left laying around. Luckily, I can ram in the trees and turn them into miniature spots now. Two places we need to go to. Oh, three places, actually. Right here! It's another kinstone collecting minish person! He doesn't have many visitors because he lives next to the castle. You know, the guards are poking people with their spears all day. But he wants to fuse kinstones with me. Luckily, I got lots of those. I'm getting closer and closer to getting that prize from Tingle. He gives you a prize for doing all 100 fusions. This just opens up a, a way to get something later. There's no chest there, but I guarantee it, there's gonna be a chest there. Eventually. Also, we need to check out the uh, places we've unlocked before. Like, over here. Right here, do you see the little ladder? You can go in here and grab 50 mysterious shells. There's another one off to the left too that I should grab. But we're gonna have to head in that direction as a big guy. And as we're gonna see, there's some problems over here. You see, the king is not accept accepting any visitors lately. He's obsessed about the light force if you were talking around town. He has his guards all in a panic. They're all looking for this light force thing. Why does he need a light force? Does he not understand it's inside his daughter? It's like he's not the same person anymore. And also in here, more shells. As you can see, there's nifty little shortcuts for the Minish. You can tell because there's colorful flowers next to them. They really took the time to label their shortcuts. People are just like, huh, that's a funny patch of flowers. And the Minish is like, hey, that's a shortcut. There's even a shortcut over here too, so I can't walk up onto this. See, stairs are Minish proof. I haven't been coughing all day. Well, well not too much, but... I guess everything's getting rattled loose by me talking. That's what I get. Anyway, we're gonna have to head to that little hedge maze you've seen. And we're gonna have to avoid getting caught. Remember Ocarina of Time? Yeah, same thing here. You don't want to be caught by these guards. Even though they're kinda easy. Just pretend you're a snake and wear a cardboard box. They'll absolutely be fooled by that. Alright, let's not get caught by that guy. Yep, this is pretty easy. I can't imagine anyone having problems with this section. Not at all. Oh, it's kind of dangerous right there. Did you see that? They kind of staggered their pattern. I didn't like that. Right, let's do this. Ha! Dumb guards in your set patterns. It's like you guys can't think for yourselves. You have to follow some orders or something. Oh, we've made it into the castle now. That's a weird way to keep out intruders. By, by not keeping out intruders. Oh well. Roll attack! Oh, oh I, I missed up my sword and I rolled attack with my head. Don't do that. Hmm, looks like everything's locked up tight in Hyrule Castle. We can't even go see the king, which I think is off in uh, this direction. Up here because even his room is locked off. The only thing we can do is go to the Elemental Sanctuary, which is right over here. It's funny, the king is looking for the Light Force, but he has a portal to the Minish world, like sitting in his backyard. So it's time to get another upgrade for my sword. It's gonna be the level three upgrade. I'm probably gonna be able to clone myself more and do more attack power damage. With the power of water! That gets us the level 3 white sword. Is it even a white sword anymore? It's more like a blue and gold sword. People would argue it's white and black. Now let's not get into that. The water element has been infused! Now we can split into three copies. Also, I know the ability that lets you split up real faster is coming up soon, which is good. Yep, three links now. Have, have you guys ever been a real hero? Did, did, did you ever wear beak hats or fight a villain guy? No? 
Oh well. I keep on fa finding my decompulsion and asked him that question. I don't know why. So we're gonna have to head out the, the way we came in. Ain't that great? Hey, maybe we could pester that guard. It's like just standing, not doing his job because I ran right past him to get into this underground area. I even ran past him as a minish, too. He didn't care. Maybe he's on his break. This guy right over here. Hello! Oh, now, now he's gonna do his job. You're not gonna ask me how I got back there, though, right? Uh, okay. See you later. So, we're done with that. I checked out the amiibos, nothing new there. I have a new blue sword now. So now we can head into this section. Oh! I remembered one more thing. A, a cough jostled it loose. You have to head to the Minish Woods. There's new fusions there. I just remembered them. Mainly because I left notes for myself, but I forgot to save the notes. Luckily, I remembered with my brain notes. I have good brain notes. But remember this guy? It's Bolari. He was talking about bombs that only blew up when you wanted them to. But he also has a kinstone fusion now. An important one. That is going to open up something nifty. In the Wind Ruins. So I'm gonna have to head to the Wind Ruins before whatever we're gonna do with uh, that uh, new area that's coming up. It must be good luck. And also in here is a fusion that we're gonna need. It still messes me up the scale of that house compared to everything else. But this guy, um, I forget his name. Oh yeah, Gentari. He has a red fusion too. Which just happens to associate itself with the Minish we just talked to. So this guy is gonna have something new for us. I just asked you about that. Ah, he has an epiphany, a Eureka moment. So he's gonna have a new item. No, oh, luckily he's close by. That's good for me. I hope it's a new kind of bomb. I hope it's a more explodier bomb. Or a bomb that explodes when I want it to explode. The remote bomb! He read my mind. He's gonna take my normal bombs though, you can't carry both of them. But remote bombs are infinitely better. All we have to do is put place it down and then use it again to detonate it. Yeah, I don't think I ever want the normal bombs again. Here, I'll leave you a present. Oh, I hit the B button and nothing happened because I'm a minish. Outside in the overworld. But, uh, yeah, he could think about what he's done. Like this! Yeah! So we're gonna have to head to the Wind Ruins. I'm just gonna cut that part out till we get there. Here's a point of note for you. You have to turn that guy off again to get through here. Some of the puzzles reset on you. Also, we got a golden Octorok around here, too. Welcome to the Wind Ruins! And we got a big bomb bag! Now we can carry even more bombs. This is the maximum for the version of Minish Cap I'm playing. In, uh, this is the PAL version. In the American version, or the Japanese version, I'm not sure which, you, uh, could get 99 bombs. But the PAL one thought that was ridiculous. There's another bomb bag on, for sale at um, Stockwell's, but you can't buy that in the PAL version. So that's why I was thinking there is a um, there is a bomb upgrade in Stockwell's shop when there really wasn't. I was thinking of a different version of Minish Cap. But do we really need 99 bombs though? I don't think so. So now we have to head back to North Hyrule Field. Now we could go somewhere new that we have remote bombs. It's going to be in the northern part of North Hyrule Fields. Next to the castle. I was standing right in front of the ladder when I remembered I had other things to do today. Like right over here. At least we could get there before the, the video is time to let it go. 
We're gonna need to triple clone ourselves for this part. Because this block is extra heavy. And we could go someplace new! Over in this direction. As you can see, um... The place has the switches right there. Mysterious shells! This was the chest I was looking for before. So we are in this part of the map now. We're just on the boundaries of someplace new. It's the Royal Valley. No, not really. I've seen this before. Yeah, sure you are. Luckily, we brought ourselves a lantern just for this emergency. In the deadly ghost lands. See, there's deadly ghosts everywhere. You gotta have to kill them with your sword. It works in the Zelda universe. And right here is the last fairy. The last great fairy. So there's something different about this great fairy compar compared to the other great fairies. Namely, this one is the adventurer's fairy. She wants us to tell her about the travels. By that, she's gonna ask us questions. No, that was the earth element, not the fire element. Nope, that is Master Smith. That's his actual name, Master Smith. Yes, Malari does have se seven apprentices. I counted. I wasn't using a guide, honest. Nope, that is the Jabber Nut. Close, but no cigar. Now, here's the one you really need to pay attention for. King Daltus' robe is... not white. You might think it was not uh, four nose and a yes, but it's in, that, in fact four nose and a yes. So she's gonna reward us for our memory. If you get a question wrong, she calls you a liar and takes all your arrows. But we got a large quiver! So, there are three quiver upgrades, but only two bomb upgrades in this game. They, they thought that having 99 arrows wasn't ridiculous, but it's still, in fact, ridiculous. So next time on Manish Cap, welcome to the Royal Valley. There's ghosts everywhere, and we're gonna have to meet a king ghost! Good night, folks.